You're still live with us on Breakfast Central right here on News Central Television. Now we'll be looking at our top stories. And the first story we have is a long-standing conversation between Kenya and South Africa about being visa-free entering the country. Now we'll be looking at the long-standing dispute, which is finally over the visas between South Africa and Kenya, which has finally been resolved. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa last week announced that Kenyans will now be able to visit South Africa visa-free for up to 90 days in a calendar year. Now, this announcement was made while Ramaphosa was on an official state visit to Kenya. South Africans currently get visa-free on arrival, or rather free visas on arrival in Kenya, but until now, Kenyans were charged and needed to provide proof of sufficient funds and return flight tickets when entering South Africa. Ramaphosa explained that a new dispensation will be available to Kenyans from 2023 in a move that is likely to strengthen ties between the two countries. Now joining us this morning to discuss these changes is specialist immigration lawyer at Craig Smith and Associates. We have joining us Craig Smith. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. I think we should first get your thoughts on the situation, the president's decisions to allow, or his decision to allow Kenyans to enter South Africa visa-free. What are your thoughts on this? Well, I think it's, it's, it's long overdue. Remember, after all, our Immigration Act sets out as one of its stated intentions to have a greater role and impact in the region, which means the entire continent. And the reality is that if you do give effect to that, you want to ensure that those countries that certainly can, from a South African perspective, that can add value to not only itself, but the, act, the other country within the region, you should be promoting uh, free uh, and accessible travel. Um, that's a long time coming, and uh, it's, it's about time and it must be welcomed. Now, Craig, you talked about adding value, and we know that this conversation stems from the bilateral meeting that they had, that's the President Cyril Ramaphosa and his counterpart, William Ruto. So I would like to ask, how do you think that relaxing the visa regulations between both countries, especially uh, that of Kenya now to South Africa, how do you think that it will benefit both countries? You know, that's a, that's a very good question, because it's no magic bullet. Um, at the end of the day, the visa-free exemption, to be visa-exempt, the, the previous situation would be you would have to approach the South African High Commission through its submission center and you'd make an application for a visitor's visa. And, you know, it was it's fairly cumbersome. You are then reliant on the efficiency of the South African mission abroad to turn the visa around in a, in a relatively expeditious fashion and at the same time you want to have quality of adjudication you don't want to be refused now that's been taken away which is fantastic now those kenyans can seek to arrive in south africa on what they what is technically a port of entry visa so in the past where they would go and apply at the high commission through i think a submission center vfs they can now arrive without going through all that rigmarole they present their passports on arrival. But you must also remember, um, there, there are a couple of snags to this. It's not, uh, it's not as rosy as one necessarily thinks. Remember, the visa-exempt status is going to allow them to arrive, but it's only going to allow them, upon the issuance of discretion, exercise of discretion by the immigration officer at the airport, to allow them in as visitors. It's not giving them up to 90 days, which is certainly a good start, but it's certainly not giving them the right to now conduct business or to openly work for an employer in South Africa. Um, and and that's, my, that's my criticism of, of this, even though it's a, it's a positive step forward. Okay, you, you've mentioned and you've clarified now that it's not giving them... Uh, the opportunity to work and conduct business in South Africa. Is there any possibility that this might happen in the nearest future? Also speak to us about the tourism sector and how you yeah. think this might impact the tourism sector. Well, it's a fantastic, certainly as, a, as an initiative for tourism, it's a fantastic uh, step forward. It's in the right direction. Um, you know, South Africa's got a lot to offer. Kenya's got a lot to offer. Um, 
you know, I don't think South Africa has necessarily done its bit in the region, to be honest, whether it's through its DERCO, which is international relations. But it's a good start because remember, those Kenyans can now enter South Africa freely. They have 90 days. They can visit all the, you know, the tourist attractions. And in the same way, South Africa should be reciprocating and doing its thing. So it's certainly going to boost the numbers um, on on arrival. Um, there's there's just no doubt about that. Um, obviously, there's a sec the second part of the development of the relations between the two, and that is to have things like economic uh, treaties, uh, exchanges, where you can make it easier to uh, engage in work uh, endeavors from both sides. Certainly from a South African immigration point of view, that would be the next step going forward. But tourism, 100%, it's a great, it's, it's a great initiative, and that is welcome. Now, Craig, there's been a certain debate about whether or not this system is going to be abused. Now, we know that South Africa is currently facing a huge debacle about its visa system with Zimbabwe. Now, likening that to um, the new initiative now, some people believe that there, there shouldn't be any um, space for abuse talking, since we're talking about 90 days free visa. I don't think that anybody would want to abuse that. It's a, it's a large number of days, don't you think? So I would like to know if you think, in your own opinion, that this relaxation opens uh, South Africa up for abuse of a system in the similar way it has been abused or it has been allegedly abused by Zimbabwe. I think that's a very good question. Uh, you know, the lowdown... Uh, it's like saying the word on the street, uh, is that home affairs are, in as much as they have a progressive immigration regime, it's applied in a very restrictive manner. Um, there's a lot of finger pointing in terms of uh, undocumented migrants, uh, immigrants who come into South Africa and overstay. Um, and so uh, I, it, is, it is a fact that our home affairs at the moment are heavily engaged in 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 uh, looking at the enforcement of the Immigration Act, and they are incredibly suspicious of of foreign arrivals, whether there's profiling on arrival. Um, but to be fair, there's very little you can do the, if those uh, Kenyan travellers wish to come into South Africa and they're visa exempt. Um, Remember, the immigration uh, official will have the right upon arrival, the Kenyan uh, visitor, to interview the particular um, traveler if they, he or she so wishes. But uh, apart from one other couple of things, the, the, what the traveler must understand is that the immigration officer can ask, well, do you have the finances to remain in South Africa for 90 days. They can ask that question. They can ask, where are you staying in South Africa? They can ask, are you going to return back to your country of origin? So we would like to see a return ticket. But save for that, uh, they, there's very little vetting, which, which I think is the positive. But um, yes, our home affairs are, are very much on the lookout for abuse and you know those become factors in which countries can often remove visa exempt status where there is a trend yeah. of possibly overstays and the like okay uh, craig as we round off this conversation there's something i'd like us to ask we've seen several situations and this directly links to the answer you've just given we've seen several situations where there have been accusations against foreign nationals about them taking the jobs of South Africans. Maybe I should ask, how exactly are the people of South Africa feeling about this? Are they excited about this development? You know, um, our home affairs, well, our government and the, and the facts are there. Uh, there are a lot of initiatives based on the fact that South Africa has a very high unemployment rate. Sadly, the, the foreign individuals, which is now part and parcel of our immigration policy, are the ones who are um, being singled out and uh, identified as the, as the reason for taking jobs of South Africans and the high unemployment, which is, to be fair, it's absolute nonsense. 
Um, at the end of the day, uh, South Africa, if it's really serious about its role within the region, should go one step further. And this is what my, my message is, is that it's not just, uh, uh, you know, being visa exempt um, is, as I said earlier, it's not the magic bullet. But what our government should be doing is monitoring the situation, but then engaging, whether it's through our international relations, whether it's through what we've seen here, where there are obvious talks happening, physical right. meeting, to, to actually talk about free work rights for uh, certain types of work rights, exchange programs, to make it easier for those Kenyans to set up businesses because currently if they want to set up a business you can be visa exempt it doesn't matter for 90 days you still have to show five million uh, and a business plan and all the rest and that becomes prohibitive for many kenyans who want to set up a business or really truly Im immigrate so whether the 90-day visitors visa is going to contribute on economically uh, remains to be seen all right. Because the immigration law hasn't changed. But tourism, great. Okay. There's so many angles to this. We have uh, from now to the 1st of January to see how this eventually turns out. Thank you so much for joining us, Craig Smith. Do enjoy the rest of the Thank day. Thank you for having me. Thanks Thank so you, much. Craig Smith. Bye.